Day eight of the Australian Open has now drawn to a close We're in the beautiful city of Melbourne, the second largest city in Australia. What did it reveal and what did it show us? Let's start on the men's side. Rafael Nadal, what else is new? Following to form a straight set victory over Marin Cilic, his 25th consecutive win in Grand Slam matches. Andy Murray showing the form that landed him in the final here a year ago. 26 service breaks in four matches so far. And on the women's side, Mary Jo, Zvonareva looking fit and strong. And very mentally tough two-time major finalist last year has really come into her own and played a very complete match. Kim Kleister's under the lights improved her form a tough first set against a dangerous opponent in Makarova. She was very pleased with her performance. Alongside Mary Jo Fernandez, I'm Tom Rinaldi, but certainly there was one very big surprise today, and it was Dagopalov, the Ukrainian, taking on Soderling, who hadn't dropped a set coming into this match. And certainly the, an overwhelming favorite in a lot of people's minds. That's not how it played out once the balls went in the air. Absolutely. The 22-year-old Ukrainian surprised everyone because he dropped the first set, was down a break, but then he used his slice and his big forehand to really set up a lot of points, and it just startled Soderling. I love the composure from the Ukrainian. He was cool, calm, and collected, and he kept plugging away, forcing some errors from Soderling, but the forehand pass was on fire. Fifth set this deep into a grand slam, keeps it together after falling behind early, and he takes the win. It was just a great effort. A little puzzling from Soderling because he really lost his way in this match, but a tremendous upset. That's just one of the headlines here, and there are certainly several others. If you take a look, Ferrer knocking off the, the Canadian uh, Ronic in four sets after dropping that first set, really using his fitness to his advantage. Kvitova showing strong form. She played outstanding power tennis, great lefty serve. Ragwanska outlasting Pong, who these two are familiar with each other, certainly. They are, and she had to save two match points. She's coming off foot surgery, so a great effort from Radvanska to be into another quarters of a major. With the conclusion of day eight, we're now into the quarterfinals, which will begin tomorrow. Quality quarterfinals at that. Federer, who will take on his countryman Vavrinka. There's Djokovic and Burdic and Wozniacki, who'll be facing Schiavone. Should be a fascinating day as we move deeper into week two at the Australian Open.